Good mythical morning, and hello to all you sexy people out there that are watching my Coffee Times of Cobra. I recently did a product review video of uh, the Razer Kishi. That's a uh, controller device for uh, phones that turns your phone into a little Game Gear or Atari Lynx or a Game Boy or something like that. Or Hell, even a PlayStation emulator, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. Or even an original Xbox too, by the way. Um, a lot's been going on in my life. My daughter's been in the hospital now. Um, with a severe infection in her ovaries. So uh, she just got out of the hospital this morning. And so she's at home resting, so that's a good, that's good, that's good. But they've got her on some very heavy medication. Um, what else? Um, my brother's been in and out of the hospital. Blood transfusions, chemotherapy, things of that nature. That's why I'm doing, why I made this. So, uh, this Christmas I will be going up there with this and giving it to him. So he can, uh. Have something to game with uh i swapped over cameras so uh there's an action cam basically it's a gopro ripoff that's the overhead camera for the painting table now so my logitech c920 is my forward facing camera i've always liked the c9 the c920 uh over all the other webcams i've ever had this has lasted me quite a while now um I used to have a C920 back in the States. Uh, I just like the fact that this one I can zoom in, zoom out. It's got autofocus. You name it. It's got all the bells and whistles. I'm um, currently updating Water Tanks EU. So I can log in and get my anniversary gift. Uh, and then I plan on updating Water Tanks North America. Um, I did recently buy a helicopter in War Thunder. So that'll be fun learning to fly. Uh, I, I flew it for about four or five seconds, but those missiles can't hit shit. They're unguided missiles. Who the fuck puts unguided missiles on a helicopter? War Thunder, that's the two. Um, what else? Uh, enlisted. I updated Enlisted. I've updated Hell, uh, uh, Hell Let Loose. I've updated a whole bunch of games because I plan on getting back and doing some more live streaming for you guys. I just need to know what games you want me to live stream. So leave a comment, please, down below for the uh, algorithm. And uh, also to let me know what games you want me to play. Uh, things of that nature. And uh, I will do re-impressions, which is kind of like a first impression, but it's a game you've already played in the past. I am currently, like, wrist deep in Star Wars Galaxies emulation i'm i'm playing a lot uh playing on an emulated server right a second and my good god memories i'm i'm hitting walls in that game even though it's emulated i'm hitting walls in that game like i did in the real server so <laughs> it's kind of brought me back um so yeah it kind of brought me back um my physical therapist has said that my hip is actually doing pretty good. Uh, my optometrist said that my eyes are actually have actually improved. So the correction contacts I wear uh, before I go to bed have actually done their job. So I gave them back to the optometrist. I don't have to wear those at night anymore. Um, if some of you don't understand, uh, uh, a deformation of the eye is where your lens... So if, if this is the eyeball... And we're looking at it from a top-down view. So my iris is facing this way. So my lens here was misshapen. It was more of a point like this, which gave me um, like a, a weird focused issue with my left eye. My left eye has also suffered from a detached retina. Um, so I've had that going on in my life. But um, the correction lens puts pressure back on the front of the eye, which then reforms the lens back into a, an oblong shape as it's supposed to be um so that's actually up to my vision by 2.0 percent on this eye and four percent in this eye i am right eye dominant um 
So there is that. So I'm happy about that. I really am happy about that. Just trying to finish up this login procedure. Um. Is it this again? Login. Should be the password. It is not. Is that the password? That is not the password. <laughs> oh, come on. Enter the text. The text is so tiny. I can't. This, this is why wargaming, no one fucking loves you. Seriously. You think people are trying to fucking ingest your login server? Email address. We'll go the old school route. Let's try you. Nope. Try you. No. Can't be that. Figure it out, can you, can you see? So if it's not new, it's not new. The big twitch. All I want to do is just log in and get my fucking update. Jeez. I'm down around the houses with you people. Jesus. We just want to make sure your account's secure. My account is secure. Anyway, apart from all of that, I've just been very heavily medicated due to like i said my contact lenses and my eye and my inhaler for my asthma my hip it just i'm falling apart guys <laughs> the domino effect here in the uk plus the fact that they've cut budgets across the board because of you know inflation and government spending and da -da 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 -da. i'm sorry but if if england is full why are we housing these immigrants why are we not just putting them back on their boat and kicking them out into the ocean and telling them sink or swim motherfucker sink or swim because the way eu handles immigration is it's whatever your port of call is so case in point say you're in africa and you weren't you're leaving apartheid or war or whatever which as far as i know there's no wars going on in africa um the moment you leave africa you hit you know other countries that are considered safe harbor portal calls which means you can stay there but no these guys are literally going up through europe of which they can stay any of these countries they're choosing not to they're going into france again another country that they can choose to stay to but they choose not to and they're hopping onto a boat with 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 France's okay yes. cool with France's backing yeah 
France is helping them. France is helping them. And then pushing them out to the ocean and saying, Good luck! I will be the same! You know, kind of thing. In this case, au revoir. They land on our shores where we've got agencies. Yeah, we, we've, we've got uh, charity agencies. No joke, we've got charity agencies. Okay, ready and waiting with water and blankets and food for these people. What are you doing for the homeless people that are on our streets? Nothing. Three people froze to death last night. Their bodies were found this morning. That's what my fucking news flash thing told me. Three people, three bodies were fr found frozen to death. Because it's currently negative two outside. And yet we're welcoming, welcoming, welcoming in these fucking people that aren't going to acclimate, that aren't going to fucking... Again, you've got to understand, all the people that have spent all, most of their lives, like my mother, my grandmother, God rest their soul, myself, my brother, and, and even his kids right now, even my daughter right now, are chipping into the pot that they're taking out of that they've never fucking paid into. No. Put them back on their fucking little dinghy and kick them back out into the ocean. Where the fuck is our navy? Seriously. What the fuck is our navy doing? What the fuck is our coast guard doing? What the fuck is our police doing? And what the fuck are our leaders doing? Oh, it pisses me the fuck off. I really want to know what the fuck they are doing. Because it's clear to me, it's clear as crystal, okay? It is clear as crystal that these fuckers are completely stupid with little to no understanding whatsoever of how to run a country. This is what happens when you get a number cruncher, pencil pusher, who's married into money, who hasn't got a fucking clue of how to be a leader. Rishi, I'm a retard, Sunak. Get the fuck out of number 10 and take all of your fucking little hippie girlfriends with you. Every single fucking one of them. You make, you are literally a disgrace to the Tory party, let alone British politics. Get the fuck out. Out. Get out. Just get out. Get the fuck out. I will not be voting for you ever again. And the fact that you reinvite Cameron. Yeah. The look on my face says it all. You reinvite David Cameron. Do you not remember what David Cameron did to this country? Do you not remember what David Cameron put this country through? No, you don't, you don't remember all the shit he put us through, him, Blair, Major, just disaster after disaster after disaster after disaster, yes I know Tony Blair was a Labour, don't, don't go there, just don't fucking go, don't, don't argue with British politics with me, shut up, right, you know, you're, you're fucking clueless. You are fucking clueless. You don't argue British politics with me. You're fucking clueless. You don't live in England. And even if you do live, live in England, debate me. I mean it, debate me. What goes to the Challenger, which goes to the Charioteer, which goes to the Conway, which goes to the FE. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, so. Let's see. Oh, 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 I can make Okay, so I need 12 
one, two, three, three. Okay, fair enough. Right on. So we've got the anniversary event. So I've got my my Panzer Kampfwagenstreit as F F two. Basically, it's just the F. It, it's just the Panzer four with an up up gun with a uh, up gun better. Um, or oh, they, they tried to put spaced armor on it, which Wargaming hasn't modeled correctly at all. <sighs> hey ho, and they added a bunch of um, other three things to the Panzer. The F two is my favorite pa Panzer four. At uh, the Panzer four and Panzer three is the uh, Panzer three J one. Panzer three J was it the Panzer three J one? I think it's the J one. It's the J, the J one or the J three. Let me uno momento por favor si vous play. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, J three. Good morning. Yeah, Panzer three J off J J one or J two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we go down the J, then I'm gonna... no, because I want to go down. Let's see what's the what is the shittiest tank on the German heavy tech tree line to grind out? Well, the mediums is definitely the fucking um, Indian Panzer. That thing's cancer. Uh, it used to be the Dershbursch Fargen 2, but they took that out of the tech tree line because it was that fucking horrible. They took it out of the tech tree line, thank Christ. Uh, so what I might do is I do a, a on grind for the E100 on the EU account. America's got a discount going on on its tank destroyers. So, over to Alliance, Stewart, and uh, 6 Medium, CM, MAM1, Wolverine, Jackson. So turret this tank Boo. Ah, it is what it is. I'm not even looking at France because French. Um Crusaders leads to AEC, it's a stay hound. Alright, so I might go down Crusader to AEC. Leave the leave the, the light tanks alone because they suck. British light tanks just suck. I'm not going down the head. Oh, Conquer and Super Conquer. Mm. But I've got to get through the Churchills and the Black Prince and then the Kanana. No, no, no. So literally, tier 5, 6, 7, and 8 are shit in the British Heavy Tech Tree line. Because they are support heavies. And if you are top tier and there's no support for you, no matter who, who you are, you be fucked. Hmm. I do have 10,000 bonds though. Didn't realize I had that many bonds. Okay. Now this is my no. This is my U EU account. Hence only it's only got three days of of, of um so what I might do later on today is um, grind down the uh, medium tech trees. Got five million credits, Jesus! I wish I had that on my US account right now. Now I do have, like I said, I've got I've got ten k bonds. Um, do I go for a, a tier eight premium, or do I save them and just go whole hog and get myself a tier? tier 10 and be that idiot player that goes through tier 10s uh i don't know yet um tier 8 is looking nice right now for me not you sorry i just saw oh just oh french oh no oh. And, and danny devito no not a french man I don't like French tanks. And a Mark 46 Korea. Or the, or, or the um, Patriot. Go with the Patriot. Patriot would be the better. But again, it's a standalone tank. It's not part of my British tech tree. I'm looking for a British tech. And I'm not. No. So the next is a joke. 
The stats on that thing is an absolute joke. KV5? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guess I... Mm -hmm. KV5 can be fun. Uh, of course, there's the FE215B. This used to be a really good tank until Wargaming hit it with a nerf stick so bad that it's just not worth it anymore. It used to be a tech tree, tech tree tank, and it used to rock as a tech tree tank because you could get the Super Conqueror turret for it, which means literally in a hold down position, this thing was a boost. But now it's just a joke. It is a joke of its former self. But it is the only decent high tier British here. Uh, I'm sorry, I do not count. Uh, where is it? I do not count. Huh. Did I miss it? Oh, there it is. I don't count the Swedish uh, Strix 81, even though technically it's a British tank. Uh, only purchased by the Swedish um, to shoot uh, Swedish meatballs. Not interested in that. I'll, I'll figure it out when I go live, guys. But, um, yeah, we've got a Panzerport F2. Uh, let's take a look. 110, 110. Yeah, it's a standard. Up, it's like an upgraded standard Panzerport. 110, 110. What's the power to weight ratio? Actually, it's not that bad. Power to weight ratio is not that bad. Uh, 12. So it's, it, it, could be a, it could be a bit nippy. It, it could have a little bit of shit and get in it. What decals do we have? I don't care. Ambulance. Don't care about any of those. I really don't. Let's see what we got for styles. Uh, none. Oh, that's what I keep thinking. I keep thinking this is my North American account. It's not. <laughs> North American account. I've been playing that since day one. This one I had uh, on the off chance I was going to be moving back to the UK. Move back to the UK. As you can see, I've. I'm not even kidding. If I was to go here, there you go. This is all of the tanks, and they're all collectors. If you notice, they're all collectors' vehicles. Uh, collector, 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 collector. Collector, collector, collector. <laughs> They're all collectors' vehicles, and there's a reason why. Um, like I said, I only log on, update the client, get the get the collector's tank, get the rewards, and log off again. Um, I have no no. Yeah, I'm about to do it now. I have no want to play on the North American server. So yeah, there you go. Um, oh, sorry, on the uh, EU server. Mm. Oh, this video has been going on for a bit so i'm gonna finish it up here with this bit of coffee and i will be done as they say so yeah i've just been very very busy dealing with life love and everything else this is why this coffee time's coming out a little bit later than normal and i do apologize guys but I've been dealing with high blood pressure issues as well. The doctor wants me to keep taking my Astro Savadin, which I have been taking. Uh, I did 3D print. In fact, let me get to it. There'll be a video of this going up on my modeling panel. I did 3D print this beautiful monstrosity. This is the Tiger. This is the King this is Tiger 2 or the King Tiger with the 105 gun. Uh, and you're thinking, why does it have foil on the sides? Because I'm planning on battle damaging the uh, the tank in certain spots. Only along this side here. Uh, the run guards, because they always get damaged. And uh, yeah, and it's really hard to do that to a physical hard resin plastic. Uh, I did have to uh, narrow the neck on the turret and open the throat on the chassis to get the turret to fit flush to how I like it, uh, which is it's supposed, it's supposed to be a little bit higher. Uh, it's just, it's just a little bit higher there, but that's fine. It is what it is. And I've got an MG42 to go on the top. Uh, the foil is actually from an old soft drink from a uh, 
Ali can from the soft drink. I, that way I can bash them up and whatnot. And I'm gonna I'm gonna customize it by adding some stowage, a few, a few a couple of jerry cans, and a few other things, and some other whatnot. And of course, yes, it is to scale. Here is a Tiger One. Here is a Tiger Two. People don't realize how big a Tiger Two is compared to a Tiger One. And yeah. It's the scale. It's 150, 156 scale. It's designed for bolt action. Um, so yeah, that's a, a late, late war bolt action vehicle. Uh, I just wanted it to have one in my collection. Customize it, paint it up, probably put it in a diorama or something like that. But I want to use it for a, for a late war gang conflict 47 slash um, bolt action. I will. I mostly play uh, mid to late. Uh, 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 Eastern block, so yeah, so I'm mostly dealing with we've captured Soviet stuff. We've got to capture KV2, capture KV1. Uh, I do have a T34 model, um, but I don't have it printed yet. Uh, and I'll do a captured T34 as well. A couple of captured T34 vehicles to use them as proxies for Panzer Fours. Uh, so yeah, there's 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 that. Um, I've just been really, really busy, guys. And I am sorry. Uh, I will be live streaming. Like I said, I will be live streaming today. Uh, so, uh, look forward to that. And uh, I will catch you then. Uh, again, this video has been going on for far too long. And uh, I will end it here with a stay safe, have fun, keep your flying, keep your enemies dying. Your cover commander is out. And I'll see you guys on Twitch for the next battle. Ciao.